Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In one of my recent episodes, I showed you how to transform your photos into incredible digital art using software like Instant ID or Photomaker. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below so you could check it out before we proceed. However, at the end of the day, you were still left with static images. But what if I told you that there is a way to bring your pictures to life and turn them into videos? Yes, it's absolutely possible. Look at this example or this one. So just sit back, relax and grab a cup of coffee and get ready. This is going to be a slightly longer episode, but I will guide you through various techniques and tools to achieve these effects. So enjoy and let's dive right in. First, we need to create some visuals and for that I will straight head to Leonardo AI to generate two example images. I'm now diving into Leonardo AI. Here I've prepared my prompt in advanced. As mentioned earlier, I'll be using two prompts. The first one goes like this. A fit woman stands still on the beach at sunrise dressed in a sporty attire and so on. Here you have a full prompt. Let's put this to the test and see what it creates. I have generated these two images, but I wasn't quite satisfied, so I decided to experiment with different models. As you can see here and here, yes, I explored quite a few of them, but after much consideration, I finally settled on this one. Quite similar situation was with the second prom. Uh, here is it, a landscape featuring mountains touching the cloud-filled sky with a clear flowing river in the background. So I also did a couple of uh, generations, uh, but finally I decided to use this one, actually the last one. But wait, there is something more to Leonardo than the, just the static images. Check out this feature, Leonardo Motion. It can breathe life into your picture reviews. So to quickly turn your photo into a video, you have to find uh, this icon, Generate Motion Video, and after clicking it, you will be presented with some extra option motion strength visibility if you would like uh, this uh, generation will be to be visible for a public or just a private one but let's uh, stick to the defaults and motion strength i will just reduce it to four and click generate so here is our first uh, generation already done our ladies walking towards the sea. Definitely there are some problems with uh, her feet, but overall it's uh, not so bad. So let's try the second prom and the second image. I already clicked generate motion video on this one and look at this result. Guys, this one is really amazing. It looks like a drone shot. So uh, there is a movement uh, towards the center of the image and uh, even river is and the water is flowing there. Well, I'm quite surprised how good the quality of this video is. And it was just a one click in Leonardo AI. The last one test I would like to conduct is with my own picture just made with my uh, camera. So for this reason, I will go to the front page and then click on the motion tab select image. My image is already uploaded. I will leave motion strength at 4 and let's see how it's gonna handle this one. Wow, look at this building. It is not moving at all, which is already good since I would like only the sky uh, to be moving there and it's actually happening. So there is no extra movement anywhere here and I'm really glad. I'm really happy with that results. Next, we have a platform very well known for its text to video capabilities. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to Runway ML. Let's bring your image to life with Gen2. So start with image, upload the file. So when your image is uploaded in Runway ML, you get several options to tweak the camera movement or select the portion of the image which is gonna be uh, animated somehow. So if you click on camera motion, you get here a specific options like would you would like to introduce pan or roll or a different camera movements. Let's say that I will click it, zoom a little bit, maybe and uh, pan, 
just a little bit. Okay, save. And I will also use a motion brush and color a fragment of the picture which is gonna be animated differently. So each color represents a different areas of the images, image which is gonna be animated. For example, the first brush represents the sky and I'm gonna make it here um, vertical movement a bit. The second one represents uh, the water. So here also I want a vertical movement. And the third one represents the lady. And let's see that I want a proximity movement here. And I click done, generate. Okay, so the movement of, so the water is definitely looking very nice, uh, but the movement of the lady is kind of strange. So the overall, I think that this is a so-so. <laughs> okay, but what about uh, the second picture? I already generated it here. I use default values, so no brush uh, uses. Everything was done automatically and let's see the results. The clouds are nice. Uh, but definitely water is moving in some strange <laughs> direction and it does look like a cloud. So I think Leonardo generation was uh, much better, at least using those uh, default values. So let's go with the third one. The third one is my building. I also used the default values, so no brushes here. Play. Okay, it handled uh, this one very nicely. Uh, I see clouds are moving, uh, the building is intact, so everything seems to be fine here. Uh, I really like this uh, generation. And here is another impressive image to text generator, Pixverse. Honestly, it's something fresh and in my opinion, one of the best options available. Okay, so we are on the main side of Pixverse, where you have this amazing visuals. So if you have any spare time, I highly suggest you should visit this website and explore it a little bit more just to see what is really possible with this tool. However, we've got something different on our agenda today. We need to use our images and turn them into videos. So let's hit create button. On the next page, we have uh, two options, either to generate video out of the text prompt or to use images to generate a video. Of course, in our case, I will use uh, images since we already prepared three images to generate videos. The first one is uploaded here. I will lift all the options uh, uh, as uh, defaults here. I just click the HD uh, quality to get the best possible results. I will speed up the whole process and present you with the final results. All right, folks, we've completed the task. All three images are rendered and uh, ready for review. Now I will take you through each one individually and dissect what went right and what didn't quite hit the mark. Let's dive into the analysis. Starting with Our Lady, the waves are uh, rendered correctly, very natural, but the lady's movement and the dress are kind of unnatural and strange. So it's um, okay, but not really impressive. The next one, the next one, our landscape picture. The sky looks good. The clouds are moving from right to left, but it's okay. However, the water is not I would expect. Uh, I mean, the flow of the water should be toward the middle of the picture or towards me. So it's skewed to the left. That's not good. Here it did its really good job with this uh, picture. It's <laughs> kind of like a sunset. The clouds are moving in a nice way. Uh, there is even some movement uh, on the road. I really like this uh, creation, so it is one of uh, the best in this comparison, I think. Let's embark on journey with Picalabs, another video generator that can work wonders on your photos. But we need to use Discord. Discord of uh, Picalabs uh, gives us an option to use those containers, generate one, two, three, and so on, to generate our animations. So I will use one of them to generate our videos. I type a special keyword which is slash animate and here I will drag and drop my images. I get our pictures rendered. The first one is our lady. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> she's walking backwards. I, yeah, I don't like this one. 
The second one is uh, our landscape, which is uh, here. Uh, just click. Definitely the water is uh, flowing to also a bit strange direction, but the clouds are not moving at all. However, if we go to our building, um, the third uh, video, nothing really happens. And what I found out is that the fact that with Pika Labs, you should add a little bit of a prompt to give it uh, a bit of more info how the picture should be animated. And this is what I did with the building. So I prompted clouds are moving and zoom into the building. And look guys, what really happened. With this prompt, there is much more movement than it, than it was. So Pika Labs seems to be fine, but you need to use a bit of prompt to get the best results out there. No, we are not done yet. Here is a moon valley. It's not as well known, but definitely worth exploring. Before I jump straight to the Discord to create our images, uh, here is a gallery from Moon Valley. Amazing creations. So make sure that you will check it out later. So let's go and test our images. This is Moon Valley Discord channel. On the left side, you get a few channels to use for your image uh, to video generation. I use the first one, the keyword is animate and then you just choose the picture you want to turn into video. And of course you can add something like motion, uh, high on low and uh, camera movement. For example, zoom in, zoom out, pan left. In most of the cases I used uh, zoom in uh, with the building I used pan up. So let's see what are the results. This one is completely different than from previous uh, generators. I mean that uh, it is a kind of dreamy and realistic look, but maybe you are looking just for this style. So choose this one. Okay, let's go with another uh, picture. Not too much to comment uh, about this one. Uh, the <laughs> movement is uh, strange. The water is flowing in a strange direction. There is only a zoom in and this uh, moody uh, effect. Uh, so I don't like it, to be honest. Here is the last one, this time with pan up uh, movement. Uh, the clouds are a little bit moving. Uh, the, overall the overall shot is nice, so I like this one. And last, but not least, we have layout picks. What makes this one special, it is its ability to transform your picture into a 3D object and then create a stunning video giving you a complete control over the final output. What do you think about this 3D look? This is what we're gonna get for our pictures and also having this extra nice options. So let's get started. Without doing anything, just uploading my photo, I get this look. Amazing, isn't it? So I didn't even touch any animation styles, amount of motion, nothing. And of course we can change it here, but sometimes it doesn't work correctly as you can see. So let's stick to defaults and it's so nice, so smooth. So let's try also the other photos. Here is the second one. I know that the water is not moving, but uh, this, programs, this program gives us this 3D look and this is all what we can get out of it. But still it is suitable for many scenarios, I think. And the last one, I think using this 3D effect works the best with the static uh, objects like this uh, building. I really like this one. So shall we do some comparison and check which one is the best one? If I had to judge uh, right now, I would say that the third place uh, should be taken by Pixverse animation of this building. If you knew how to fine tune this one, it would be even uh, better. The second place would go to Runway ML. There are a lot of options to control your image with brushes, so uh, definitely worth to try. And of course, first place uh, goes to Leonardo AI and its motion. This uh, image uh, turned into video well, really <laughs> is the one of the best I've seen here. And guys, if you have any experience with the other tools I did discover in this video, please let me know. I'll be happy to explore them and maybe make another video about them as well. Thanks for sticking with me to the very end of this video, guys.
I would love to hear your thoughts on these tools, so please drop a comment down below and I will be happy to engage. And as always, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you would like to see more videos like this one.